Welcome to Edinburgh, Scotland's capital, and a city steeped in history, legends, and spectacular scenery. From historic castles to hidden closes, Edinburgh has a wealth of experiences to offer. In today's video, we'll be exploring the top 10 best places to visit in Edinburgh, Scotland, along with some surprising, unknown facts about each spot. Number 10. Dean Village located just a short walk from Edinburgh's bustling city centre, is a picturesque and tranquil neighbourhood that feels worlds away from the urban buzz. Nestled along the water of Leith, this former milling village offers visitors an enchanting glimpse into Edinburgh's industrial past, with charming stone cottages, cobbled streets, and lush surroundings. Water of Leith Walkway The serene water of Leith flows through Dean Village, creating a scenic backdrop of greenery and peaceful waterside trails. The walkway is popular for strolls and extends throughout Edinburgh, connecting Dean Village to other scenic spots like the Royal Botanic Garden and the Scottish National Gallery of Modern Art. Well Court One of the most iconic sites in Dean Village, well Court is a beautifully restored 19th-century building originally built to house mill workers. The structure's red sandstone architecture, intricate design, and courtyard make it a popular spot for photos. Best time to visit While Dean Village is lovely year-round, spring and summer bring lush greenery along the water of Leith, while autumn adds beautiful colors to the trees lining the river. Number 9. The Scott Monument This monument is a stunning Gothic landmark in the heart of Edinburgh dedicated to the famed Scottish writer Sir Walter Scott. Standing at 200 feet tall in Prince's Street Gardens, this blackened sandstone spire is the largest monument to a writer anywhere in the world. With intricate carvings and dramatic architecture, the monument is a striking feature of Edinburgh's skyline and a testament to the city's rich literary heritage. Architecture and Design Designed by George Meikle Kemp, the Scott Monument was completed in 1846 and showcases elaborate Victorian Gothic architecture. Its dark, towering structure is adorned with 64 statues depicting characters from Scott's novels, intricate carvings, and pointed arches. Sir Walter Scott Statue. Inside the monument at its base, you'll find a white marble statue of Sir Walter Scott seated with his dog Maida. This statue, crafted by sculptor Sir John Steele, serves as the centerpiece and is surrounded by the monument's elaborate Gothic design. Opening Hours. The Scott Monument is open daily, though hours vary seasonally. It's best to check in advance as last entries are often an hour before closing. Number 8. Greyfriars Kirkyard located in the heart of Edinburgh, is one of Scotland's most historic and atmospheric cemeteries. Dating back to the 16th century, this famous graveyard is known for its fascinating tombstones, legends, and connections to the city's storied past. It is also a popular destination for those interested in Edinburgh's darker history, with stories of hauntings, famous historical figures, and even ties to the Harry Potter series. Greyfriars Kirkyard features a statue of Greyfriars Bobby, a loyal Sky Terrier who guarded his master's grave for 14 years after his owner's death. 
Historic Tombstones and Mausoleums The kirkyard contains numerous intricately carved tombstones and ornate mausoleums dating back to the 16th and 17th centuries. Many are notable for their macabre carvings of skeletons and skulls, symbolizing the era's views on mortality and the afterlife. Number 7. Princess Street Gardens This gardens is a stunning public park in the heart of Edinburgh, Scotland, nestled between the city's bustling Princess Street and the iconic Edinburgh Castle. Known for its beautiful landscaping, historic monuments, and spectacular views, the gardens are a favorite spot for both locals and tourists seeking relaxation or sightseeing in one of the most picturesque areas of Edinburgh. Split into east and west sections, the park stretches for approximately 37 acres, offering plenty to explore. Stunning views of Edinburgh Castle One of the park's most striking features is the view of Edinburgh Castle perched on Castle Rock, creating a dramatic backdrop. The gardens offer a unique perspective of the castle, making it a popular spot for photos and sightseeing. Floral Clock. Located in the West Gardens, the Floral Clock is one of the most unique and beloved features of Princess Street Gardens. Scott Monument. This towering Gothic monument dedicated to Sir Walter Scott is situated on the east side of the gardens. Visitors can climb the 287 steps to the top for panoramic views over Edinburgh, while learning about Scott's literary contributions. Location and Accessibility. Princes Street Gardens are easily accessible from Edinburgh's Main Street, Princes Street. The gardens are free to enter and open year-round, making them convenient for visitors to explore at any time. If possible, visit early in the day or during sunset for fewer crowds and softer light, which makes the surroundings even more picturesque. Number 6. The Real Mary King's Close located beneath Edinburgh's Royal Mile, is one of the city's most fascinating and eerie historical attractions. This underground network of preserved 17th-century streets offers a glimpse into the life of Edinburgh residents hundreds of years ago. Named after Mary King, a prosperous merchant who lived on this close, an old Scots word for alley, the site was covered over during construction of the Royal Exchange in the 18th century. Today, it stands as a time capsule of medieval Edinburgh, bringing to life the stories, struggles, and dark tales of its former residents. Visitors are taken on guided tours led by costumed actors who portray historical characters and bring to life the history of Mary King's Close. Tours provide detailed narratives of life in Edinburgh's old town, covering aspects like the crowded living conditions, the plague, and the harsh realities faced by the people of the time. As one of Edinburgh's most immersive attractions, the Close reveals what life was like before advances in sanitation and public health. During the 17th century, the area was home to people of all classes, including merchants, craftsmen, and aristocrats, who lived in close quarters, with multiple families often sharing single rooms. Number 5. Calton Hill in the heart of Edinburgh, 
is one of the city's most iconic landmarks and a must-visit for breathtaking panoramic views and historic monuments. Located to the east of Princes Street, Calton Hill offers sweeping views of Edinburgh Castle, Arthur's Seat, the Firth of Forth, and the city skyline. Known for its architectural and historical significance, the hill is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a favorite spot for locals and tourists alike. National Monument Inspired by the Parthenon in Athens, the National Monument was intended to be a memorial for Scottish soldiers who died in the Napoleonic Wars. Although it remains incomplete, the structure's grand columns give it the nickname, Edinburgh's Disgrace, and add a touch of mystique to the hill. Nelson Monument. Dedicated to Admiral Lord Nelson and his victory at the Battle of Trafalgar, this tall tower offers visitors the chance to climb to the top for unparalleled views. The monument features a time ball that drops every day at 1 p.m., originally designed to help ships synchronize their chronometers. Calton Hill is open to the public year-round and is free to enter. Some attractions, like the Nelson Monument and Collective Gallery, may have entry fees or limited hours. Number 4. Arthur's Seat A Stunning Extinct Volcano is one of the most popular natural attractions in Edinburgh. Located within Holyrood Park, just a short walk from the city centre, this 822-foot peak offers some of the best views of Edinburgh and beyond. Hiking to the summit of Arthur's Seat provides a rewarding way to see the city's historic and natural beauty from above. Hiking Trails. Arthur's Seat is accessible by multiple trails, ranging from moderate to challenging. The most popular route starts from the Holyrood Palace area and takes about 1 to 1.5 hours round trip. Panoramic Views. At the summit, visitors are treated to panoramic views of Edinburgh's skyline, the Firth of Forth, and, on clear days, parts of the Scottish countryside. It's an ideal spot for photography and enjoying the Scottish landscape. Best times to visit. Sunrise and sunset are particularly beautiful times to hike Arthur's Seat, offering striking colors and fewer crowds. Number 3. Holyrood Palace and Abbey Holyrood Palace, officially known as the Palace of Holyrood House, is the British monarch's official residence in Scotland, nestled at the end of Edinburgh's famous Royal Mile. Adjacent to it are the ruins of Holyrood Abbey, a historical site dating back to the 12th century. Together, they offer a fascinating glimpse into Scotland's royal history, stunning architecture, and serene gardens making Holyrood Palace and Abbey a must-visit for travelers. Holyrood Abbey. Founded in 1128 by King David I, the Abbey became a key site for royal ceremonies and burials. While only ruins remain, the Abbey's Gothic architecture and weathered stone give it a hauntingly beautiful ambiance. The Abbey grounds also offer a peaceful setting and a connection to Edinburgh's medieval past. Best times to visit. Morning visits are usually quieter, and the palace is open year-round, except during Holyrood Week and other special occasions. Number 2. 
the Royal Mile it is Edinburgh's most famous street, stretching approximately one mile from the Grand Edinburgh Castle down to the historic Holyrood Palace. This iconic thoroughfare in Edinburgh's old town is lined with centuries-old buildings, narrow alleyways, charming shops, restaurants, and pubs, making it an essential part of exploring the city's rich history and vibrant atmosphere. Edinburgh Castle Dominating the skyline at the top of the Royal Mile, this fortress is a historic and cultural landmark. Inside, you can see the Scottish Crown Jewels, the Stone of Destiny, and the National War Museum. The castle offers stunning views of the city and is one of Edinburgh's most visited attractions. St. Giles Cathedral. Known as the High Kirk of Edinburgh, this beautiful cathedral features stunning stained glass windows, intricate stonework, and the Thistle Chapel, a hidden gem within the building. St. Giles is a place of worship and historical interest, with a legacy dating back to the 12th century. Summer months and the Edinburgh Festival, August, bring large crowds. Early morning or late afternoon offers a quieter experience. Dining. The Royal Mile has a variety of eateries, from traditional Scottish pubs to fine dining, with Number 1. Edinburgh Castle One of Scotland's most iconic landmarks, stands proudly on Castle Rock, a volcanic hill overlooking the city. With a history dating back more than a thousand years, this fortress has witnessed countless pivotal events in Scottish history, from royal ceremonies to sieges and battles. Today, it serves as a top destination, drawing millions of visitors each year with its rich history, stunning architecture, and spectacular city views. Crown Jewels and the Stone of Destiny The castle houses the Scottish Crown Jewels, which include the Crown, Scepter, and Sword of State, along with the Stone of Destiny. This ancient stone is symbolic in Scottish and British monarchy, historically used in the coronation of Scottish and, later, British monarchs. St. Margaret's Chapel, the oldest surviving building in Edinburgh. This small Romanesque chapel was built in the early 12th century by King David I in memory of his mother, St. Margaret. Despite its simplicity, it's a cherished part of the castle, offering visitors a serene, historical insight. Summer is peak season, with longer daylight hours, but visiting during off-peak times, spring and fall, provides a quieter experience. And that wraps up our list of the top 10 best places to visit in Edinburgh, Scotland, from haunted alleyways to mysterious artifacts. Edinburgh is truly a city full of history, beauty, and hidden tales. If you enjoyed this tour through Edinburgh's best sites, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more travel inspiration. Let us know in the comments which spot in Edinburgh you're most excited to explore. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.